It's the Tonor TC120 condenser microphone. It's available on Amazon. Is it any good? We about to find out today, right here on Geargasms. Cry for no one A love that should have lasted years But if you search for truthfulness, you might just as well be blind. Hi everybody, welcome to Geargasms. I'm Alan Barnes, your host. Today I got the Tonor TC120 microphone. They sent this to me for free. So I guess that kind of makes us a, a sponsored content video. I'm not sure of what the rules are because I ain't never done anything like this before, but I did have to sign an influencer contract. Now the amazing thing about that is they must think I'm an influencer. <laughs> they obviously haven't watched my channel too closely, but that's okay. All right, I know how you kids love the unboxings. Camera B. Now right away, the box, it's, it feels heavy. The specs on this are the standard specs for almost any microphone you buy. Flat response from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. Um, large diaphragm condenser. It comes with a lot of goodies, especially for the price. It's pretty amazing. You also have this little booklet here. We'll get rid of that for now. We'll get rid of this for now. Inside the box, we have one of these crane arms, these little adjustable mic mount arms. I love these things. I wanted to get a couple of these when, when I was still doing the radio show from this studio with Sue, my co-host. This is included in the price. Insane. We have the microphone, it's hermetically sealed, and a condom. Oh, looky there. Just for a, a sense of scale. That's how big it is. Nice, big enough, but not too big. That's what she said. Aww. And finally, we remove another layer, and there's more goodies below. We got us a standard XLR cable. And, almost most impressively, you get this pop filter with a goose gooseneck comes with it. So you get a microphone, you get the wind sock, you get this pop filter, you get a shock mount, and you get the movable arm, and you get a cable. Everything you could possibly need to get your rock and roll on. And that's exactly what we're going to do in just a minute. But first, I'd like to ask you to like and subscribe. Please subscribe. I'm a hurting for subscribers. This channel is mostly bullshit. But every once in a while, I do something halfway decent for you guys. I certainly appreciate you coming along for the ride. Let's get right into this mic. All right, for my first test, I'm going to just play guitar and sing into it from kind of where you'd set a microphone in the studio. Now, to be fair, I stole this idea from Sophie Burrell. You should check out her channel. She's lovely. She got one of these, too. I'm sure she did a much better job than I'm going to do. I don't have the pop filter on here just because I don't really need it from this distance. It's not really going to add anything to your evaluation of how it sounds. So I decided to leave it out. Now, if I'm doing normal vocal tracks and I'm eating the mic like I kind of like to do, yeah, it needs to be there. Not so much to filter the pops, but to catch the spit that comes out of this wet, wet mouth of mine. <laughs> so right now you're hearing my voice just on my neck microphone, the Magic Wireless, and now I'm going to switch it to this one. Now you're just hearing the old Tonor TC120 spoken voice, dry as a bone, the EQ is super flat. I'm just gonna run through, noodle a song or two, see if I can get blocked by the YouTube content police, and then I'll do it again with just a touch of reverb so you can hear how it would sound actually into your DAW. First a little bit of the guitar. Your day breaks, your mind aches. There will be times when all the things she said will fill your head. You won't forget her. She wakes up, she makes up, she takes the time and doesn't feel she has to hurry. She no longer needs you, and 
in her eyes you see nothing No sign of love behind the tears Cry for no one A love that should have lasted years I'll lean in a little bit. Now, one thing you notice about this microphone, it does not correct my erratic pitch. It does not fix those excruciatingly close but no cigar high notes. But let's sort of do the same thing with a little bit of reverb so it doesn't sound so disgusting. Not the mic, the source. Your day breaks, your mind aches. You'll find that all the words of kindness linger on when she no longer needs you. She wakes up, she makes up, she takes the time and doesn't feel she has to hurry. She no longer needs you, and in her eyes you see nothing. No sign of love behind the tears, cry for no one. A love that should have lasted years. You want her, you need her, and yet you don't believe her when she says her love is dead, you think she needs you. I screwed that up. How'd that sound? Did you like that? <laughs> We're going to try something else. Again, I'm still just on this microphone. Let's do a proximity test. Here's me talking to blah, 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 saying, oh, what a shame it is that these microphone demo videos don't get me the views that I crave. I think it's because when you're doing a microphone just in a video, it's really hard to evaluate how good it sounds. And that's true even in the music stores. Because when you go in, you plug in a microphone, they hand you a $400 pair of headphones. The mic is plugged into a $2,000 preamp. It sounds amazing in the store. You get it home, you plug it in with your garbage, and it's not quite so impressive. But I have to tell you... I did some test runs with this just to make sure it was going to sound decent and it sounds really good especially for for an application like this it's not bad at all if you search for tenderness it isn't hard to find you can have the love you need to live But if you search for truthfulness You might just as well be blind It always seems to be so hard to give Honesty is such a lonely word to say while I'm doing this, this arm is pretty damn sturdy. This is about where you'd mic an acoustic guitar just for in the studio if you have only one mic. I like it right at the 12th fret. Give me a little bit from the sound hole. Give me a little bit of the string squeaks. Let's just, just play some tunes. content 
I do have crappy content. Well, what'd you think? It's the Tonar TC120. It's available on Amazon. I'll put a purchase link in the description. What did we learn today? We learned that there's some sort of otherworldly magic happening with the ability to produce a microphone like this for such an amazing price. What a great time to be alive. What a great time to be a studio musician that you can really get so, sort of pro quality of gear at prices that every single person can afford. I would have killed for a microphone like this 10 years ago. We also learned that I'm an amazing minstrel when it comes to sitting here singing and playing on YouTube. A simple microphone like this captures the glorious magic that emanates from this extremely talented body of mine. We also learned that Manny Vox really dug this microphone in the studio. He crushed some Billy Joel for you. We've had Manny on the show before. We'll bring him back if you guys like him. I think he's kind of an asshole, but he does what he does, and he does it well. As always, a thank you for your time. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. You can buy a t-shirt if you want to. Only four or five of you have, but that's okay. Times are tough. Whatever you do in the next seven days, don't tell Paul McCartney about it. Because if he finds out you did a Beatles song in your video on YouTube, he's going to block you just like he blocked Heather Mills on his phone. Love. Play more guitar. Watch less YouTube. And keep coming back here week after week for more Geargasms.